Welcome to this episode of Q&A with Liturgy Man. I'm Taylor Burton Edwards, Liturgy Man, your Director of Worship Resources with Discipleship Ministries of the United Methodist Church. I am your apportionment dollars at work to help you strengthen worship and the understanding of worship where you are. Today's episode focuses on when and how the readings of the Revised Common Lectionary relate to each other. It's a question that often planners start thinking about this time of the year, uh, particularly because we are approaching the season after Pentecost in not too many weeks here. And uh, during that season, how is it you relate all these readings to each other from the Old Testament, the Epistle, and the Gospel? Well, the simple answer is you don't. We'll get to that in a minute. But let's first talk about what readings are related to each other and when. First of all, all year long, from Advent 1 all the way back around to Christ the King Sunday, the psalm is always chosen to respond to, and therefore be related to, the first reading, whether that's from the Old Testament through most of the year, or whether that's from the book of Acts during Easter season. So no matter what, you can always find a connection between the psalm and the Old Testament reading. For a good chunk of the year, all three readings, the Old Testament, the Epistle, and the Gospel, are related to each other, centered or focused on the message of the Gospel, and chosen really ultimately to relate to the Gospel reading. And that's true in three different ways, three different times. First of all, from Christ the King Sunday, right before Advent 1, all the way through Advent, all the way through Christmas season, including Epiphany, and then one more Sunday, Baptism of the Lord Sunday, all three readings are related to each other. Likewise, starting with Transfiguration Sunday, that last Sunday of the season after Epiphany, right before Lent, all the way through Lent, through Holy Week, through Easter season, concluding with Pentecost, and then through Trinity Sunday, the first Sunday after Pentecost, they are also all related. And then there's one kind of lone standout out there toward the end of the church year. All saints, all three are related. There's one section of the church year during the season after Epiphany, between Baptism of the Lord and Transfiguration, those green Sundays, when the Old Testament is chosen to correspond to the Gospel, but the Epistle reading is on a different track, and I'm just reading through one of the epistles from the New Testament um, for its own particular topic. So you may, during those weeks, you might choose to follow maybe an Old Testament gospel together kind of track, or just read the epistle and follow the epistle track. And finally, there are those Sundays after Pentecost, and specifically after Trinity Sunday, so starting with the second Sunday after Pentecost, all the way to the end of the church year, uh, with that one little blip again right there at All Saints, where the readings are completely unrelated to each other. They're not chosen to connect to each other. The Old Testament reading is read as an Old Testament reading in its own integrity. The epistle is doing its own thing. The gospel is doing its own thing. All of them are semi-continuous, that is, extended readings in course, in order, through the books of the Old Testament, the epistle reading, and the gospel for each year. Hope this has been helpful. And remember, you can always um, contact me, worship, at umcdiscipleship.org through our UMC Worship Facebook group, or just drop a note right here on this page, and perhaps your question may become the topic of a future episode of Q&A with Liturgy Man. May the peace of Christ be always with you.